creating with the Creator. Okay, I'm going to be blunt. Creation and promotion of the Savior complex is one of, if not the, primary psychological operation of religion. It was designed to surgically remove self-empowerment, relocate source over there somewhere, and codify a set of requirements before judging someone as worthy to receive the attention of said Savior. This is basically institutionalized spiritual blackmail. Do what we say, or the Savior will never save you. When the Savior becomes God, the PSYOP is complete, as we suffer and writhe in pain and hopelessness visited upon us by a God who deemed us unworthy, or worse, worthy of punishment for not adhering to religious dictates claiming to be divine decrees. Of course, the true reality is that if there is any saving needing to be done, it is us doing it, regardless of appearances and declarations. But the PSYOP was so convincing, we voluntarily threw away our personal power, and worse, our direct connection to the Creator, believing we weren't good enough to have a wonderful, loving experience of life. The utter cruelty and indignity of this matrix aside, choice remains the backdoor escape from the PSYOP. Further cruelty and indignity ensues when even after making the choice to embrace our sovereignty, there are nagging fears and worries about our value and our possible violations of an authoritarian code that said we were incapable and undeserving of creating anything for ourselves. This is where we need to read the headline, The Creator Wants You to Be a Creator Too. In fact, when we create something good in the world, even if only imaginary, the Creator is right there with us, urging us on and amplifying our inspiration. The PSYOP got us believing that anything we personally create is morally questionable, because, you know, we're rotten to the core and unworthy of sovereignty. Of course, this is opposite the truth. Writ large on our DNA is a goodness code. We all know what this is. It is what drives us to create kindness, beauty, mercy, and grace in the world, and is anathema to cruelty, ugliness, malice, and ignorance. When we act from our goodness code, God is with us, opening possibilities and revealing opportunities for more of the same. Choices to create ill in the world only karmically boomerang back on us as further proof of our unworthiness. So there is a kind of built-in cosmic structure biased in favor of expanding love and nurturing goodness. Choosing to go against this structure only mirrors back our cruelty and darkness that ultimately falls into oblivion under the weight of its own distortions. The colloquial phrase, God helps those who help themselves, needs the caveat, do good in the world. And this sums up the human-God relationship. We intend to see good in the world, and Source Creator God reaches through our portal with all the love and universal power necessary to get the job done. It is only the psyop created fear of failure and self-disempowerment that reduces that portal to a pinhole, injecting doubt, worry, and indecision into what could be something beautiful and good in the world. Bottom line, we project the vision and intention of goodness, and the Creator provides the horsepower to get it done, providing the inspiration, perspective, and love with which we can imbue our actions. And through this divine partnership, restoration of earth and humanity is certain, as dark damage is repaired, faith is restored, and peace and abundance reign. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.